The biggest mistake people make when learning English and probably one of the most common misconceptions that people think they need to study English and I'm saying don't study English, live English. And now let me explain what I mean. What does studying mean and how do people usually approach this process? And how do people perceive studying English? Studying means getting knowledge about something by reading, examining it in deeper or researching it. We usually perceive studying to be hard and boring and, some, and something that you can usually complete and leave behind like a course or when you study in school, you can't wait to finish and forget about it. When people think that they need to study English, they usually think that they need to take a course or work with a teacher one-on-one -on -one for some time and that will be enough. When they finish it, they will know English and they won't need to go back to learning again. They are wrong. Well, to be fair, if your goal is just to pass a test like IELTS, then yeah, pass a test and you forget about it. That's why it's important to determine your goal. Do you need English to pass an exam or do you learn it for fun? Are you actually serious about it and want to truly become fluent in English? Do you need it for work or do you have any intention to move to an English speaking country? A lot of people do need to just pass the IELTS exam. So they study for that, they get the band and they just relax and stop because that was their goal. You can reach a certain level in English maybe even a very good a very good one but then what if you just quit practicing and using english your skills will worsen of course you can take a break from learning if you go a month without saying a word in english not listening to anything in english you'll be fine but if this period expands to a year you most likely you are going to have to work on some skills once again especially speaking and you might forget some vocabulary. That's why I prefer living English. What do I mean by living English? You need to surround yourself by English language so that you have no choice but to use it. You need to incorporate it into your life so much that it doesn't feel like learning anymore, but it's just a part of your everyday life, part of your routine. This way, you will not forget English. You will not lose your skills. On the contrary, you will be only improving every day, little by little. You probably won't even notice your progress because it's going to be a constant thing. But mark my words, one of these days, you will be told that your English is great and you'll be amazed by your English and you'll think to yourself, but wait, how did this happen? That wasn't hard at all. And that's the beauty of living the language. You improve while not even realizing it. Although it might not be easy at the beginning because it takes a bit of effort and discipline, but it will be so worth it because you can't just stop learning and using a language and expect it to stay the same level. Have you heard the saying, if you don't use it, you lose it? Skills need to be maintained. When people go to college, they can't wait to finish their studying and they do. But when they do, they usually proceed to apply everything they learned at their jobs. This helps them maintain and enhance their skills. You need to maintain a language so as not to lose it. It's just like with any other, be it playing an instrument or even driving a car. After a big break, you need to work on your skills once again. You don't forget them completely, but they get worse. That's why people always find themselves in this vicious cycle of learning English, but they never become truly fluent in it. Becoming fluent in English is a goal for a lot of people, but the road they choose to go there oftentimes isn't the one going to get them there. By the road, I mean the mindset with which people approach learning a language and the approach itself. So you will join an English speaking club, be fond of, of posting on social media handles in English and read all sorts of English materials. You could also make a lot of friends who speak in English. This way, your speaking skills will improve. If you live in a country where nobody speaks English and you have no one to practice with, you can still live English. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.